If you want to grow, you must learn how to follow the trend and use what worked today. If you try to use what work, what used to work yesterday for today, you might run into a lot of challenges. You might just be pulling a lot of energy without result or with little result. That is why today we'll be looking at five ways to grow your business online. My name is Austin Amaru and I believe that you can do much more. Now, the COVID era has taught us one thing that you can actually do your business anywhere you are and if you are the type that rely on the uh, bricks and mortar business for you to be in a place before you can do business anything like covid can take you out of business and maybe you will not be able to come back that is why today i want to share with you five ways you can actually take your business online and grow it now, I call them the smart way to take your business online and grow your business. You know, they tell us if we want to plan, we should make what we call smart plans. And smart plans are plans that they say, plans that are specific, plans that are measurable, plans that are the kind of plan that you can adapt to situation plans that are relatable or plans that are time bound. Now, I'm going to be sharing with you what I call the smart way to grow your business online. And I think it will help your business to grow tremendously. The smart way, number one, is that your business must have a social media presence. Social media presence is the number one. Now, my advice to everyone that want to start business online is that you should be present on the social media. Now, I'm not saying use on social media. I'm saying be present in every social media that is out there and that is making waves. But you need to be active in at least two. Be active in two, be present in the others. What do I mean? How to be present is that you keep a contact. Make sure that when they arrive on any social media platform, they can contact you, they can reach you, they can get to you, but be active in two. You can be active in one if that is what your resources can carry, but you have to be active on the social media. That is for the X. The X is social media presence. And the M uh, is that you must have a mobile conversion strategy. Now, you are present on social media. How do you convert? whatever you'll be doing on the social media on a mobile level. Don't forget that the old world today, we are we have over 92% of people in the world reaching the social media, reaching the internet using mobile devices. So if you are if you don't have a mobile conversion strategy, you might not be able to reach the right people. Now, before now, we used to have what we call the desktop uh People flocking everywhere on the internet. But right now, people use their mobile phone. So what is your mobile conversion strategy? My take or my advice will be you try using WhatsApp because WhatsApp is a domineering force right now when it comes to messaging anywhere in the world. If it is Africa, it is 95 to 98 of people that are online use WhatsApp. If it is India, it is 98 to 99. If it is China, China, it is low. It's about 20 something percent. They use WeChat. Uh, anyway, so use a chat platform, a messaging platform as your mobile conversion strategy. And if you do this, you will be able to maximize your social media presence and then convert the people that are reaching you there on a mobile level and the a is that you should use ad leads generation now uh, a lot of people think that they can actually grow businesses online without even paying for advert at all now people are telling you about organic promotion organic promotion is beautiful but if you are a business if you are a business and you want to grow you must have budget for ads i mean have budget for adverts online imagine you choose to generate leads using fresh Facebook or using Google ads. If you do that, you're able to get a lot of leads that you will now begin to work on because business is about leads and the number of leads you are able to convert the cash. So you must focus on lead generation. Then number uh, four, 
which is our is retargeting. You must find a way to retarget your audience. You have uh, reached out to them through awareness by you running your uh, Facebook ad or uh, ad targeting your leads, you now find a way to retarget them. And one of the ways we have always been doing that is using our emailing mechanism. But now I tell you the best form of retargeting that you can actually have is still on messaging platform like WhatsApp. Because if you tag, if you want to retarget people, you need to have their number so that you can reach out to them from time to time. The reason is simple because every single message you send out on WhatsApp, they have 90% chance of being open, of being read, unlike your emails. So you need to find a way to retarget your audience. And the last one is that you need to team up with those who are already there. We call them social influencers. You need to team up with them so that you can get the right audience and reach the right people. Now, with this smart uh, plan, you will be able to grow your business online. Now, don't forget to comment on the comment section to ask me any question any way you are not clear and I will be there to put you through. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. And if you have already subscribed to the channel, just hit the notification bell so that you get the content as we are bringing them out to help you grow your business online. I remember us tomorrow and I believe that you can do much more.